you gotta check out Cave Busters by John Talopsky. This is a 2D pixel art platform done absolutely right. Game control is your normal WASD spacebar to jump. However, the gamepad controller works just fine. I really like the start screen. You got this purple sporty looking character who has crashed his spaceship in a cave and it's time to get out of here. There's definitely a lot of elements here that are gonna remind you of Mario and Luigi jumping around in their two platformer. However, the cave dwelling and the cave monsters make it a little bit different. It's nice that it has the save points as you go along, but you can set it up where you only have one life and there are no save points. Ride or die. All the different elements that make a great platformer is there. You have the ground that disintegrates underneath your feet. You got the crystal spikes that you can't jump on. You got fireballs jumping up into the air. This is basically like they took Mario and everything, redesigned it and owned it and did an excellent job at it. Once you get to the last character or the last boss level, which has a nice boss level, you got this bug like crystal back thing just kind of ramming at you and you got to jump on them. Excellently done. After that's done, you gain a new power and you beep, 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 zip through that thing and get on to your next level. This game is definitely one that you got to throw your virtual quarter in and play. Speaking of which, I'm happy to say that you can play this game on itch.io as well as gotham.io. Nice. The one thing they need to add is a volume control and sound effect control. There needs to be some sort of a sound control panel there. Other than that, I'm loving it. The YouTuber that caught my eye today is Casper Franzen. And the reason why is because he's talking about world normal mix shaders and Godot. But first, let me give you a little bit of backstory. On your screen right here, you see a conversation between me and an asset developer. Here I'm asking, hey there, maybe you can answer a question for me. I'm new to making games and at the moment, I'm studying functions, loops, and so on. However, I often see assets listed as Unity or Unreal. So are assets game engine specific? Like what does it mean when they say assets built for Unity and so on? He writes back, hi, it depends on the assets. Some of them such as shaders, scripts, materials, etc., are usually engine specific. However, his company uses a transparent PNG format files. It's a general use format, so you can use them in any game engine. I say, thank you so much for explaining. I think I'm starting to understand. Like shaders that have been scripted in C Sharp Unity would not work in C++ Unreal or GD Script in Godot. Assets like that would have to be rewritten in other languages to work unless the artist already provided them rewritten. Am I thinking about this correctly? But assets like yours are image files so they can be used in any engine. Then he responds, yes, that's it. Needless to say, after that conversation, I was happy that I'm starting to think about this correctly. However, I'm still really kind of confused about what shaders are. So do you ever get that feeling that when you're thinking about something and all of a sudden here comes somebody with a tutorial, what a great feeling. And that's what this tutorial is going to be for me. I noticed this gentleman made this tutorial for Godot 3.5.1. However, he supplies a link for the same type of shaders to work in Godot 4.0, which, hey, that's me, that's me. <laughs> so I'm going to attempt to follow this video. I think I'm going to download low 3.5 to follow along there. Then I'm going to jump into Godot 4.0 beta, which should be beta nine by the time you're listening to this. And then I'm going to try it there. And I think by doing this, this will help me wrap my mind around what shaders are. So, Hey, Mr. Franson, I know that you don't know me, but thank you so much for this video tutorial. And I can't wait to try it. Is this how it's supposed to feel? Tell me when it's over. I got some place that I gotta be. It won't leave My friends, hey Get out of your comfort zone It's a blessing in disguise Get out of what you call home Your name is written in the sky 